What up again, Tech Fam? Welcome back to Technocalypse Now. Today, I'm going to show you how to reset the password on a Cisco router. So this is one of those situations where, um, you know, you maybe you buy a lot router um, used from somewhere or your home lab. You get it home and find out. I can't log in because there's a password on here and I don't know what the password is. Or, um, you know, you work in a network department at some business. One of the network guys gets fired and he maliciously changes the passwords on several routers at the company and n nobody knows the passwords, can't access the routers. That is a terrible thing to do, by the way. So how do we get back into this router without completely just wiping the whole thing? We, we want to save the configs and uh, everything we have set on this router, but we can't get into it. So I'm going to show you how to get back into the router, change the password, and, and, and get those configs back from the profile that you don't know the password to. This is a Cisco 800 series router. Um, I think it's an 891W wireless. And I've got it USB'd into my desktop tower there. Um, RJ45 to USB um, plugged right in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, let's see if we can uh, get us a router going here um, in the command line. Uh, okay. We're going to use PuTTY. I, I'm, I'm using PuTTY uh, for, um, to get to view the command line. It's a terminal emulator. PuTTY. All right. And so if you're using PuTTY when you get in there, um, like I said, I'm, I'm directly connected to the switch via console uh, so I'm going to click on serial and it's it wants to know what my uh, serial com line is and um, it's not always going to be com one so if you you know you just plug the thing in USB you don't know what the com uh, port is I'm going to show you how to find it. What you want to do is you want to hit the Windows key, type in device manager. That is there. And when you open device manager, it'll be on another screen, so you'll have to move it. And, <laughs> and then what you want to do is go to ports and LPT. Boom. And when you open that, you'll see you have a device here, or or I have this device, and I've got it plugged in, and it's telling me it's COM4. So this device is showing up as COM4 on my um, on my ports. So that's the that's the one I'm going to go with COM4. I'm going to close that window. We're going to go here, type COM port four. Uh, everything else you can leave along speed ninety six hundred so on and so forth is usually always right click OK and boom you see we have a window we are into something let's see what it is so we'll hit enter would you like to enter initial configuration dialog nope Okay, and the switch is initializing again, and it's gonna let me in, and I hit it again, and look at that, it's a router, okay? It's not a switch. <laughs> so, okay, we in the router. Let's see if we can get in. We're gonna type enable. And, comp T, it, they let us in, we're in. There's no password on this router. So what I'm going to do is set a password and we'll go with the usual, shall we? So what we're going to do is type enable 
password and we'll make it Cisco Cisco so now we'll exit we'll exit again and as we can see it's not it doesn't say router anymore it says Cisco because we changed the host name so now the name of our our router is Cisco and now we want to get into the router so we'll say enable and it says password what's the password and we know what the password is because we just said right Cisco boom we're into the router we'll do a show running config it'll show us what configuration is set on the router as we speak this shows all of the configs whatever configs you set they'll show up in here okay and so what we want to do is exit again and we'll pretend that we don't know the password and nope that wasn't it nope that wasn't it nope that wasn't it so after three times the router will tell you hey I'm not letting you in here and this is why and as you can see I don't know why I'm pointing at that as you can see it says bad passwords so you have entered three wrong passwords and it's telling you hey that those passwords you use are wrong try again and you, if you do it three more times same thing will happen so then what we're going to do have to do is change the configuration register because now we can't get in the switch we don't know what the password is so there's a way around it and that's what I'm about to show you right now okay so there are two main configurations that you'll always be using when you're dealing with routers and switches and those are the configuration number 0x2102 and 0x2142. Now the 2102 configuration is the normal router operation. When a router starts up or you pull a router fresh out of the box um, or you just just turning one on for the first time, reset, whatever the case may be, this is the normal operating mode for the configuration register. In, in in most cases and so what happens is when you power the router on um, the the startup configuration copies makes a copy of the running configuration and puts it into play loads it and that becomes the running config so your startup config copies the running config that had been saved in RAM and starts up a copy of it and that will be the running config that you're using in the CLI at the time you're uh, logged into the router. So the 2142 configuration, it kind of skips the, um, the running config that you have saved in the RAM. So basically the startup config skips the running config that you had saved. It doesn't make a copy of it. What it does is it starts up a copy of a blank configuration, a factory right out of the box. When you first log into the command line, no configuration set whatsoever, no nothing. It, it runs that instead. And so there's no password on it. There's no anything on it. You can log right into the switch and if you set that configuration register, log into the switch past the password part, then you can load that original uh, running config that you had saved and you can um, pull it into the running and change the password. And that, like I said, that's what we're going to be doing here. So the first thing you have to do is power cycle the switch. And once you power cycle the switch, as it starts to reload again, then you want to hit the control and break key. Now the break key on a keyboard is usually it'll say pause with a line and then break written under it. Sometimes they don't put the word break on there and it's just a pause key. Like on some laptops, it'll just say pause, but that's the key. And it's usually right above the page up button on a keyboard. So you power cycle the router 
as it starts to load, you control break and you'll get a prompt that says Raman one. And that's what we're doing. We're putting the router in Raman mode. And this is what I'm about to demonstrate right now. So we're still logged in to this router here. At least we should be. Yep. So um, we're we'll log on. Let's do an enable. It's asking for password. We don't know the password. So here we go. So I'm gonna power cycle the router. Router. Let me just pull the power, and then I'm gonna plug it back in. And um, as you saw, when it started to load, I hit control break. I actually hit it twice. Sometimes if you hit it one time, it, it doesn't do anything. So I always just naturally hit it twice. Now we are in ROM mom mode. And what we want to do is change the configuration register. So the first thing we're going to do is type in confreg, C-O-N-F-R-E-G. And that brings up the configuration register. So we'll type con, whoops. Frig. Okay. So when we brought up the configuration register, if, if you'll read it, it'll say configuration register, virtual configuration register 0x2102. That is the config that we are on, and that is the normal router operating config. Um, and uh, it gives you some more little information. Then it asks you, do you wish to change the configuration? And you want to say yes, because we want to put it into 2142. So we're going to say Y for yes, hit enter. Um, enable diagnostic mode. So then it's going to ask you several more questions, all of all to which you can say no, but we'll go through them. And then uh, the final question you'll say yes to. So. Um, you say it'll say do you want um diagnostic mode say no do you want a ip broadcast no load from uh netboot nope use all zero broadcasts nope break abort has effect nope ignore system config info this is the one you want to say yes on ignore system config info because you want to start with a blank slate and you say yes. Mm. Uh, the next question, uh, console ball array, say no. Um, boot characteristics, say no. And as you can see, the configuration registry has changed and it says 0x2142, which is where you wanna be because that is the blank slate that we're gonna use to bypass the password. Um, then, um it'll ask you another question do you wish to change the configuration on this question you want to say no because you already changed it that's why it's reading 2142 so it's already changed say no hit enter now it's going to tell you you got to reset the router for the changes to take effect and there's two ways you can do it you can pull the power and plug it back in or you can just simply type reset here reset and hit enter the router will restart it'll take a few minutes we'll come back after all right we are back and as you can see the router has rebooted and if you look here it'll ask you would you like to enter initial configuration dialog so that lets you know you were successful in changing the register because you'll only get that question on a fresh router or a blank config. And But we're going to say no here. As you, as you can see, our prompt is back to router. It was Cisco. We had changed it to Cisco. So the host name has been reset. That's a good indication. Now let's see if we can get in. So we'll go enable. And... It didn't ask us for a password. We did it. We're past the password already. So then we'll go um, conf t, and that's configure terminal. Conf t is short for configure terminal. 
and we are in there. So now we've gotten past the password, so we're not locked out of the router anymore. But this is just a blank config. None of the settings or configurations that are set in our old running config are here. So what we want to do is import all of that into here. We'll exit out, we'll, then we'll go copy, start, run. And what that command says is copy the startup configuration into the running configuration. Because right now we're in a run, blank running configuration. But we want all of our settings out of that initial startup configuration that we can't log into because we don't know the password. So we're going to copy that startup configuration to this running configuration. It'll ask us... Do we want the destination file to be running configs? And you just hit enter, boom. And it will load the running config or the startup config into the running config. And it'll take just a second. Now that that has loaded, now we change the password. So we will go conf t and we'll say enable password and we'll call this got in because we got in when we didn't know the password. So that's the new password. Um, change the host name to Cisco. And now we will exit. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll exit. And now what we want to do is copy the running config, this running config that we just changed the password to and got all our settings back to the startup config. So we'll just say copy run start hit enter and it will copy this new running config to the startup config and it is now done and now we've successfully gotten back into our router and we managed to save all of our configs and put them into this running config change the password so we bypass that malicious intent or that inability to access the router because we didn't know the password. One last thing, we got to change the configuration register back. And so um, how we'll do that is we will conf t and we'll say config dash register and we will say zero x 2102 because right now we're still in 2142 and then we'll just hit enter boom we'll do show run and you can check to verify that your configurations are all there if everything looks good exit and we're gonna go copy run start one last time saves it all and you're done. And and that's the end of the game. We've successfully gotten back into our router. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I hope someone is able to find this useful. I hope it helps someone. If you find if you did find this information useful, um, go ahead and like I always say, by all means, push all the buttons. And until next video. Peace.